I just had breakfast here in Malibu with Jillian. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you, Darren. Nice to see you again. Where are we? This is an interesting place. We, we are at Tesla Malibu. Tesla Malibu, it's a fun size store. I heard that this place, Malibu, is our first time visiting this part of Los Angeles. It is the Beverly Hills of the beach. It is the Beverly Hills of the beach, I would say, yes. <laughs> so today, we just want to hear from Jillian's experience on FSD Beta. Following up from the last video last year, how things have progressed, where things have stayed the same, and where things could need more improvement. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. How has your experience been at FSD Beta? You've been a very early adopter. I am. You just got 11.4.2. I did. Yes, I, ha I did. I, I actually love it. I know it's going to be hard to believe that I say that. I do love I love the progress that they've made. The Tesla team have, um, have made software for the car that is just unbelievable. It's not perfect. No. but it's amazing and i have said that from the very beginning it's not perfect but it's amazing and it can it continues to get better and better there are a few regressions app with each update but i think i think we're on the road we're on the road to perfection and it's not going to be tomorrow and it's not, probably not going to be in the next six months but we are on the road to perfection and uh, i commend the entire tesla uh, ai team for what a great job they're doing it's a lot of people hard at work at it as Jillian mentioned, we are on a road. Every road has its bumps, but also beautiful moments. What's the most magical part about FSD data for you today? I would say it is, it is smooth now. It's more smooth than it's ever been. I'm seeing less braking, less phantom braking. I'm seeing smoother turns. And I'm also seeing it being more aggressive and being more confident in each move that it makes. I agree. I had a chance to experience FSD Beta with Jillian and a few other friends like Joy the past two years. Back then, it was not smooth. It was very jerky. <laughs> and now, safety is number one priority. Second, they built for smoothness. It's more human-like. Yes. But no journey is perfect. Sometimes there are potholes. What's been challenging at FSD Beta today? Challenging today, I think it would be... Um it still doesn't know the width of my car mm. i think that i think that it uh, it get it i get too close to other vehicles and making turns on my way here this morning i was making it, it made it it made a left hand turn and i came really close to uh the car that was sitting in in, in the other lane which made me a little nervous <laughs> because i want to trust it but yeah. then again i'm like there are points where i'm like oh my gosh should i not trust it so um the, the, i think i think it has an issue with knowing the width of my car so yeah mm. we are beta testers and that's actually an interesting point that you then brought up does it know that it's actually piloting a model s x three and y or is it just car agnostic because in the future now you see news like ford is already moving the north breaker charging standard to use superchargers, I believe in the future there may be a chance for Tesla to open up their software to other car manufacturers. And we're going to see a lot more formats like Cybertruck, the Tesla Semi today, the Roadster, the next generation vehicle. All these cars come in different shapes and sizes. So hopefully FSD Beta does account for that. Let us know down in the comments if you have any insights on this. So the, the car has, FSD Beta has great strengths. There are moments where it still needs to learn and improve. <laughs> So we're not yet at a stage where we could just put our parents in a car, get them to <laughs> double tap the right stock and let's go. It's good. No. What needs to change if let's say there's one or two things that are the most impactful things Tesla can do to improve FSD beta, what would they be? I think to continue to um, make it be more confident and be more uh, aware of its surroundings. I think, but I think the confidence in the software, it being more confident in what it needs to do, sometimes it'll hesitate. And I think that really uh, is, is an issue because it, we, as, as, as someone who's sitting in the driver's seat, we don't know if it, the car doesn't know what it wants to do. We don't know what it wants to do. So it makes it a little scary at times. But then there are times it just always knows exactly what it needs to do. And it's not scary. So if it could always know exactly what it's supposed to do or it's going to do, it would make uh, the experience much better. I agree. Consistency is key. You don't want to be on one hand like it's like a 
pro Olympic player, on the other hand, is like a student learner. Right. Consistency gives us safety. Like, if a car is consistently bad, you know how to navigate it. If a car is consistently good, that's great. If it's inconsistent, you're always on alert. Right. Now, right. in California, it's the home of again, a lot of Tesla software. It's very well trained here. There are about 300,000 Teslas in California. So for the average Tesla owner here, who is thinking about maybe trying FSD beta and the subscription here with $200 a month, what advice would you have for them, people who are trying it for the first time? I think you should try it. Definitely try it. I can't, for me personally, I can't imagine owning a car that doesn't have full self-driving. So um, I think you should try it. If, if it's for you, then continue your subscription. And if it's not for you, then you can always just cancel it and then maybe uh, to uh, resubscribe later when the software where is a little more perfect, but it's always going to be getting perfect. So, or better, not perfect, but it'll yeah. get better. So, yeah. Whatever we experience today on FSD beta, it is worst possible state. It only gets better. Now there may be some regressions in some areas, but on the whole, hopefully, it trends better. So let us know what you think. If you have any experience with FSD beta, I agree that it's going to take some time more for FSD beta to really hit commercial mainstream use. But Jillian also brought up an interesting point recently on Twitter. Like when FSD beta becomes more widely accepted and widely used, how does it interact with human drivers who may want to take advantage of its behavior? Tell us more. Yeah. So it seems like as, as it becomes more popular and people understand how, to, how FSC works. So someone who doesn't have FSC and wants to cut off a Tesla who is on FSC, FSCs are going to, going to automatically stop and let the car go ahead. So someone could use that to to their advantage by saying, oh, that's just a Tesla, so let me just cut it off. So FSC is going to just stop or slow down to avoid an accident. So, but as, as more people understand how FSC works and that it will stop or cut, will stop or slow down to avoid an accident, um, if more people know that, I think it could be an issue for us um, that, that needs to be resolved. I don't know how, but um, yeah, I think we're going to get people going, oh, it's just a Tesla, an FSC, let's just cut them off. So, um, yeah. I agree. That brings up a good point. People like to test the limits, maybe take advantage of something that they know can happen. So I think different stages of autonomy development, different levels of challenges. I think in places like, let's say, Europe or China or even Japan, Maybe that's less common to happen, but in the US, there definitely will be some behavioral changes to adapt to. Mm -hmm. But every country has its unique nuances. Even in Thailand, where Tesla recently launched, they've got the public transportation where people are standing behind mm -hmm. the back bands. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, autopilot thinks that it's humans and it goes to an abrupt stop. Mm. They have to hire software engineers to actually code and let Tesla know, no, no don't worry, that's a, <laughs> that's a truck. Yes. Please proceed don't need to do a hard stop. Yes. So every country has its nuance. Every state has its nuance. Every city has its nuance. But FSD beta is, I think, Tesla's best shot at general autonomy. We saw a lot of uh, Cruise and Waymo in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I actually don't notice it as much in LA. No, there are some in Santa Monica. They're doing testing. Mm. Waymo is testing in Santa Monica. So you might see them when you're there later today. Very nice. Yeah. So we look forward to it. Jalen, thank you so much for sharing your experience so far with FSD beta. And for everyone who's beta testing FSD right now, okay, thank you for your work as well. It is not easy. You're pioneering the path for many others. So that hopefully our parents can just plug and play and as Apple says, it just works one day. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla.